while India targets 7 NMs by the early 2030s, global leaders are racing ahead. TSMC already ships 5 NM and 3 NM chips. 2 NM mass production starts this year. IBM itself built the world's first 2 NM chip in 2021. So, India isn't trying to overtake, it's actually trying to catch up and secure a seat at the table. Already, 10 semiconductor projects worth $18 billion have been approved, spanning fabs, assembly, and ATMP units. From Micron's $2.5 billion memory unit in Gujarat to Tata's, Tata's $3 billion Assam facility to new pilots in Odisha and Punjab. The first wave is definitely here. And under the Design Linked Incentive DLI scheme, the government has sanctioned 23 chip design projects worth over 1,000 crore rupees, led by Indian startups and MSMEs, covering IoT, telecom, and surveillance applications. India's semiconductor demand is projected to touch 100 to 110 billion dollars by 2030. That is 10 percent of global demand. Local sourcing mandates mean TVs, ACs, electric vehicles, energy meters, telecom gear, and IoT devices will soon need to run on Indian design chips. That's how you build scale, not just fabs, but also local consumption pipelines. Ironically, India once was ahead. In 1983, Chandigarh's semiconductor laboratory was making five micron chips before a mysterious fire in 1987 set the industry back by decades. Today, the same lab makes 180 NM chips, 20 years too late. But with Mission 2.0, the government wants to ensure India never misses another wave. Chips are not just technology, they are geopolitics, power and sovereignty. By 2032, if India can produce 7NM chips at scale, it won't just mean jobs and factories, it will mean control over supply chains for defense, AI and next generation telecommunications. The message is clear. India won't remain just a chip consumer. It's building to become a chip power.